We were talking about gases of various sorts, and I have a little jar over here that has a gas in it, and the gas is ordinary air. Now, you may wonder why we have a jar of air, and it's because I want to take an object and put it in the jar. And the object is a little tiny balloon that was blown up before the lecture and tied off. And I'm going to ask you what you think will happen when I put this balloon in the jar and then remove the air. Who has an idea? You think it will float up? What do you think? It'll pop? Bounce around in the jar? These are great answers. You have an answer? It will explode. That's sort of like popping, isn't it? Expand. Anything else? Stay the same? That's a good answer. What do you think? It'll shrink. Well, you know, there's lots of answers, aren't there? But you know, in science, we don't just argue about things. We do the experiment. So let's put this in this jar. We'll just set it right there. And uh, yeah, we have this on the uh, television there, so uh, you can watch it up there if you can't see it down here. So I'm now going to turn on the vacuum pump and remove most of the air from this tube, from this, uh, oops, from this jar. So you see the pressure coming down. Can you see anything happening? It's getting bigger, isn't it? So those of you who thought it was going to expand were in fact correct. It's not floating. It hasn't popped, at least not yet. Uh, if we let it get big enough, maybe it would. What do you think would happen now if we turn the vacuum pump off and let air back in? That's right. You think it would shrink again. Well, let's try it. Watch up there. And so you're right, it does shrink back to the original size. Now if you think about it, the size of a balloon is determined by three things. It's determined by the pressure of the gas inside. Well, that didn't change, we had it sealed off. It's determined by the elasticity of the rubber that's trying to contract it, that didn't change. But it's also determined by the pressure of the air around it, and that did change. So by reducing the outside pressure, that allowed the balloon to expand, and then when we put the pressure back in, it contracted again. Now, there are many things we could put in there. How about we put some of these in there? You like that idea, don't you? Okay. So we'll remove the balloon. We'll take one of these marshmallows. We'll put it right there. Now, what do you think will happen? That's right, it's getting bigger. Now, what do you think will happen to the marshmallow when I turn off the vacuum pump and let air in? So you notice that it expanded, just like the balloon did, and that's because a marshmallow is a lot of little tiny balloons. You know, a marshmallow is mostly air, and the air is inside in little tiny uh, cavities, and when we re remove the outside air pressure then, those balloons expanded, just like the big balloon did. But these balloons are a little bit leaky, so after a little while, the air uh, leaked out of those balloons, and then we had a partial vacuum inside the marshmallow, and then when we let the air in, it crushed the marshmallow. But it is an ordinary marshmallow, and in fact, it tastes pretty good. <laughs>